Hi there, and welcome at Your Guitar Workshop. My name is Andre, and uh, today we're gonna do uh, a song about Passenger Gold Holes. Um, it's a pretty easy song. Uh, there's not a lot of chords in there. It's just, you know, a C, D, G picking pattern, you know, a strumming pattern. So it's really easy. I don't have a lot of time today, so I'm gonna go through this quickly. So try to keep up, and um, hope you like it. Check out my Facebook page, Twitter, all that stuff. Check it in the description below. Um, and um, for the rest, I would say uh, enjoy the tutorial and let me know what you think. Uh, I'll play the intro and the verse for you first, and then we'll get into how to play them uh, on the guitar. So uh, here we go. Okay, so now before we go any further, um, the song is in standard tuning and the capo or capo is in ninth position on the guitar. So the intro first, what you do is you just uh, put your left hand fingers uh, slightly gently touching the guitar, the strings. So palm mute of uh, muting them and you can do a slight palm mute with your right hand as well. And then you play the following uh, picking pattern, like so, or strumming pattern. Uh, three, four, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And that last upstroke is uh, open strings. So like this, three, four, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Down, up. Now you notice that in the tab I have these X's on the, uh, on the strings, uh, indicating of course the strumming and uh, that it's muted. But some of them are on the bass strings and others are on the higher strings. Now what I try to do is I just make a difference between what I st strike you know, more on the bass strings and more on the high strings. But it's not rocket science or something like that. It's not doesn't have to be that precise. So if you're only picking the bottom two or the bottom four for the high ones, that's fine. If you're just picking the, you know, the, the, the low E and A string for the basses or maybe a bit more, that's fine too. It's just to make a distinction between the two. So that intro together, three, four, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Up. Then we get the verse, and for the verse we have uh, three chords, that is E minor, D with F sharp in the bass, and G. The strumming pattern is like this, on the E minor you play down, down, up, and that upstroke that last one is used to start switching to that next D with F sharp in the bass, so like this. Three, four, down, down, up. Then you take that D with F sharp in the bass, there you play, down, up, down, up. And again, that last upstroke, you let go of the chord and there you already start switching to the next chord. So that first bar of the verse, Three, four, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Then you go to that G chord, and there you play down, down, up, up, down, up. And again, that last upstroke is just with open strings, because there you already start um, the transition to the E minor chord again. 
for the next two bars of the verse. So that G chord together, three, four, down, down, up, up, down, up. And that is already the two bars that make up the entire verse. So that uh, verse together, bars one and two, and we'll repeat it a couple of times. Three, four, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. All right, now for the chorus. I'll play it for you first, and then we'll get into how to play it on the guitar. So here we go. The chords I use here are the C chord. The G chord and the D chord. And the strumming pattern is exactly the same as the second bar of the verse. So I don't have to really get into that. And of course, that last upst upstroke of every bar is again just open strings because there we're switching to the next chord. So you play three, four, down, down, up. Up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Now for the bridge. The bridge starts at uh, one minute and forty seconds, I believe. And you just uh, just strum a chord, and then he just starts singing, starting with well sometimes. So he plays C chord, well sometimes, and I'm blah blah blah. Then he goes to G and to D, which is our course we already did. Then once more, so takes two bars. Then G to D. And at one minute and 55 seconds, just about, he starts saying like, now we've got holes in our hearts, yeah, we've got holes in our lives. And that is on uh, A minor, yeah, we've got holes in our hearts, yeah, we've got holes in our lives. Then he plays it once more, A minor to C. G, and then he just stays there. So the outro goes like this, three, four, A minor, C, G, D, A minor, C, to G. Then he just keeps repeating that the only thing that changes is that he starts playing a strumming pattern, and the strumming pattern that he's playing over that is the same strumming pattern as for the chorus and what we played in the second bar of that um, of that verse. So like this, uh, that goes like this: three, four, down, down, up, up, down, up, 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 down. And you just play that right until the end of the song. So it's a very basic song, and uh, but this is uh, pretty much uh, Holes played by Passenger. All right, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that. Check yourguitarworkshop.com for more information. Um, a lot of things are going to be changing in uh, this year and next year, so uh, try to 
keep yourself uh, posted. I'll try to put things on Facebook or Twitter or whatever. So uh, make sure you follow or like or whatever you do that you do. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Keep practicing, keep playing, and I hope to see you again sometime. Mm -hmm.